Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, on today's episode of Ndombi's Food Diaries, we will be making taquitos with a little South African twist. If you want to see how it's done, stay tuned. Hey, so the ingredients you will need some flour, you need a bit of salt, some olive oil, water, baking powder, and that's just for the tears, just hold on for the rest. So, for this process, you can just use your hands, but I prefer using a proof uh, food processor. But if you don't have one, don't stress at all you can simply just mix it so what i did is i used warm water because it kind of makes the dough much lighter and softer as well as the baking powder and i just pulsed it until the dough formed and then yeah and then you'll know when it's done really. and then i use corn flour for the surface honestly best decision i have ever made because it barely sticks at all and it's like much more easier to work with and then I just cut it up into even cubes yeah it helps because then now it makes all the tortillas kind of even you know what even the years just chopped it up chopped it up and I rolled but it has to be like super super thin because once you cook it it kind of like puffs up sort of so you don't want this big tortilla especially because you are gonna roll it so just roll it roll it roll it roll it roll it until it's super thin just like that and then just do it with all the rest of the equal squares that you made huh. this was honestly very very tiring but i'm almost there one more left roll it and roll it and roll it and done now we gotta cook these things i honestly love the non-stick pans it is just amazing cook it on high heat few seconds you know until you get a little bit of running but not too much now for the filling um i wanted to put an african twist to this and that's why i used burros which is like South African meat. It's really, really good if you haven't tried it. Just a few seasonings. I kind of wanted to make it a bit spicy, but I added the chutney to make it a little more sweeter, just so you don't get overpowered with heat. And then I cooked the burros first, and then I preserved the oil that came out of the burros so that you could use it to cook all the other vegetables. You don't want to add extra oil because it already is or you piece of meat and then i just chopped up my pepper i use a green pepper for this but honestly you can use any pepper i mean personally red is my favorite but green is good chopped up some fresh garlic you could also use the already prepared crushed garlic it's honestly the same thing plus it's kind of cheaper because then it's like a huge bucket and then i used some broccoli just to make it a little more healthier you know you could also put cauliflower you could put some uh broccolini which is like the baby broccoli but it's huge steaks yeah and then just cook it up a few minutes combine all the spices and just set it aside and then now we gotta do the rolling so I put a bit of the filling inside, don't overstuff it though, and I folded the side so that the stuffing wouldn't just fall out when I fry it, and then I used a toothpick to just secure it. It really helps with the frying process. And then you can just fry it as long as you want, you don't want it to be too black because it leaves that burnt flavor. And then I used the same pot to fry it, and then I just, yeah, I think I fried it for about 5 minutes. And then now for the sauce. And then, well, the guacamole. It's really good guacamole. Um, you can add red pepper if you like. It does add some flavor to it. Or even 
um, your normal pe- your normal onions. I think I said peppers before. I meant onions, red onions. You can use red onions, and then just all chop it up into cubes. That's my tomato, super red, super juicy. And then I use coriander, and I chopped it very finely. And then here I use the lemon juice first of all for flavor and also to keep the freshness of the avocado, especially if you're gonna keep it in the fridge. That acid really helps to preserve the greenness of it, the freshness of it, and it adds great flavor. And then I have just plain old sour cream and I whipped it just to soften it up a bit. I whisked it, yeah. And then yeah, you just enjoy. Dip it in the guac, dip it in the sour cream, and take a huge bite. Trust me, you will not regret this at all. Enjoy. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to follow my Instagram if you haven't already. Add me on Snapchat. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all of the above. Till next time. Mwah.